Hello everybody, my name is Zhang Zonkami Blaylock, so today I'm going to be explaining how to play Minesweeper. This is a request from uh, an online mutual um, who never really understood how to really get down into Minesweeper. So the concept is actually fairly simple. We have left click and right click. Left click will reveal a block. Right click will place a, a red flag. Now, the red flag is essentially how you're supposed to guess or to mark what should be a mine. So in Minesweeper, the idea is to sweep through these blocks and avoid blowing up to a mine. So there are a few uh, uh, strategies you could start with to get started. Um, and one is to basically start at the corners, another is to start in the center, but essentially you want to get lucky with your first draw as to have as many spaces um, collapse with uh, free, free zones essentially. So if I click the corner here, so it revealed a slew of different uh, spaces, different zones. So now we get into the next aspect of what uh, matters for Minesweeper and that is the numbers. So the number basically indicates how many bombs that that space is um, surrounded by. So in this case this space here with the one is next to specifically one bomb. The three here is next to three bombs. The two here is next to two bombs. In terms of what uh, areas are affected it is a radius or radii of one so in this space here with the one in it we're looking at one two three four five six seven uh, eight right and if you realized in this one instance this one space only has one uncovered block and that means that if you have one mine or one bomb next to this space, and this space is um, next to seven revealed spots, then that spot is a bomb. And so we place down our flag to denote that is a bomb. Cool. So same thing can be said here. So you're probably wondering, okay, so we know this is a bomb, but how are we supposed to identify what other spaces might be, what's safe and what's not. Well, again, we use the same logic that we use to determine that this was a bomb. If this space is next to one bomb and this was the only area uh, not revealed, then we know for certain that this spot is a bomb. Um, and, and evidently as so, if this spot right here for this one is next to one bomb, and this is the bomb that it's next to, then we know this spot is free. Sweet. So now we basically have to go through this same logic. Now you're probably thinking as well, well, are we sure that this is a, is a bomb? You, I've explained via the, the, the strategies, like the, the formula or the, the, the thought process behind it. But sure, let's undo this flag with the right click. And let's go ahead and terminate our game by clicking what we know to be a bomb just to prove the point, right? So, uh, let's do it. And there you are. Now, you're probably wondering, okay, so what about the twos and the threes here, right? Well, the same thing would have applied, right? If we know that this two is next to two mines then we know that this was the bomb that we terminated ourselves on then we could conclude that um, that would be one and then there would be uh, because again the radii of one so one two three four five six seven eight then we would know that one of these three um, was a bomb all right and essentially we could then deduce that if this is next to a bomb and it will th th these places are the only radii of one around this one that it would have been one or two right so if this is one or two but then we know the two here is one here then we know it's one of these right so then we could have marked this as clean potentially because it, you could argue that with the two here, 
we could we, we wouldn't know for certain if this was the bomb or if this base was the bomb but it gets again a little tricky uh, in that case because you, you, it is also a part of of luck but yeah that's how you play the game and so i'm going to do like an actual real um uh, play through for a, a quick set see how far we can get Okay, so if we're starting with our previous tactics, let's start in the corner. Okay, that's two. That's not a good starting spot because two of these three zones here could be a bomb. We don't we don't know which, so we're just gonna leave that be. Go to the next corner. One, also not good because again, any of these three could be the one mine. So let's try another corner. That was a good start. It revealed plenty. So let's go through and see that we have a diagonal one here. And again, there's only one block spaced in the radius of this one. Same thing here, there's only one block. So then let's go over. And same thing here, we have a one here. We know this is the bomb, so that means this is clear. Uh, same thing here, this one, that's the bomb. This should be clear and that should be clear because those diagonal spots are still touching this one. And well, it should be good. Same thing with this actually. Okay, now we have a diagonal one and that has to be a bomb. And if that's a bomb and this is touching this and this, there you go, as well as this corner here. And we can apply the same logic. This one is next to this bomb, so everything around it should be free, including this diagonal here. Cool. So now we know this is a bomb for certain, and then we have this two here. Well, this two is only touching two uncovered spaces, one where we know is a bomb, so now we're gonna mark this as a bomb. So, it's same process, uh, left and right. Uh, we have a diagonal here. We know this is the bomb for one, and then this is touching this, so this should be free. Cool. And this is touching two spaces, so we know that's a bomb. And if that's touching this, then this is free. And this is touching two. And, but well, we already know because this is a one diagonal, that's gonna be a bomb. And this is a one touches this, so this should be free. Sweet. Uh, this is a two touching one and then touching two. That should be the second bomb. So then this one should be free. Okay. This is a two touching one and two. That should be a bomb. And the same can be said for this with one and two. So then the surrounding spots here should be free. And this is a two touching one, and then the second uncovered space is here, which we know is a bomb for certain because there's a diagonal one. Again, if you're confused about what we're doing, a single square shows you the number of mines surrounding it, right? And so surrounding this one are nine, or sorry, eight tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know that because this is the only uncovered block within the fur or the, the radius of this block that has to be coordinating that this is a mine. And it checks out with all the other numbers. So to reiterate that same logic with the previous number, we have this two. The two uncovered spots within the radius of this block are just these two. So these two have to be bombs. So let's continue forward. Uh, let's see, the, this two correlates to one and two, so this should be free. Uh, that's a bomb, that's a bomb. This, ooh. That has to be a bomb because again, the radius of this square here is three. One, two, and three has to be it. And this two is also touching one and two which means this should be free, followed by this. So, and let's see here, this is a five. And so there's one, two, three, four, five blocks here, which means all of these have to be a bomb because if five spaces are blocked and three are already free, then 
we just determined that these five blocks have to be the five mines that the number is warning us about. And if that's the case, we can come back here and we see one, two, that means one of these will be a bomb. And can we easily determine it with the information that we currently have? I don't think so. Yeah, no, we can't. Alrighty. So let's continue, shall we? So this is touching two which means one of these two is a bomb in terms of here two of these three can be bombs and according of one here one of these could be a bomb that's going to be that's that's, that's going to be hard to determine Oh, this is actually a conundrum. So we're kind of in a spot here where none of the numbers currently listing, at least from what I can see, easily denotes any of the current outer borders. Well, let's just see what happens. I'm assuming this should be clear because these are both two. We know one for each, which means that if it was one of these, that would check out for that for both. And the same thing here, but if this was one, then that checks out, maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, so, oh, well, that's how you play the game though. We're gonna try one more quick round. Oh, that's a good one. Boom, boom. Um, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, so boom, boom. Boom. That's a bomb, so boom. 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 Okay, all of these have to, has to be... Okay, so because there's a three here, that means we know this is a bomb, so then the only two spots left to fill this three would be those. And if this is a bomb for certain with this, then we know this is a two, then these two correlates to this, which means this should be free and that should be free. Okay, this is a one, so then that means that has to be a bomb. And if that's a bomb, and we know this is a bomb, that means this diagonal spot should be free. I don't like that. Let's try a random one in the center. Another random one. Give us one that'll show some spaces. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta take some, uh, some risk and some luck. Okay, those are bombs. Uh... Okay, so if that's a bomb, we know this should be free. If that's one, that has to be free. If this is next to one, that has to be a bomb. <laughs> Why are they giving us some very annoying ones? If this is the one, that has to be free. Okay, got to do another lucky one. That's a bomb, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, that's a bomb. Okay, if that's a bomb, then we know this should be free. That's a bomb, that should be free. If this is a bomb, this should be free. That should be free, that should be free. Uh, that's a bomb, and if that's a bomb, that should be free. Uh, if this is a bomb, that should be free, should be free, should be free. This is a bomb, this should be free, that should be free, that should be free. If this is the one, that should be a bomb. And then if that's a bomb, then this is a bomb because this spot correlates to this three. Okay. Uh... That has to be a bomb because that's the only other two that this, or the other only uncovered space that this is touching to. This is a two, the only spot here will be this. Oh, okay, so if this is a one, then that should be free. 
this is a two and if that's free then it means this has to be the bomb and if this is the bomb and that's the bomb and this is touching both then this is free and if that's free then this should also be free as well goodness gracious I might need to do another random spot guess Whew, got lucky. Okay, so we know that's a bomb, and that has to be a bomb because two, and that's the only two there, so if that's the bomb, that's free. That's free. Uh, you're a bomb, and if you're the bomb, then we have two, so then that's free, and so are you, and if you're free, then that's the bomb, and if you're the bomb, then that has to be the bomb to make four. Uh, like four. That doesn't solve any of that, though, sadly. You should be free, you should be free, you should be free, you should be free. You're next to one, so then you're the bomb. You're the bomb because that's that's that and if you're that then this is free and if you're free then you're the two for the bomb here so i think we found all the bombs in in this little area and if that's true we have one two so then free and free okay you are a bomb you are a bomb Two, two. If you're the two, then you should be free. If you are free, then you have to be the bomb. And if you're the bomb, then you're free. Uh, you're one. So that's definitely that. Definitely that. Three. So then you're the bomb. Because that's the only other third uncovered space. You're touching those three, which means you should be free. If you are free and you're touching two... Oh, that's an easy one. You're a bomb. Okay, let's make another random guess. Another random guess. Oh, random. Ah! Okay, so we, we did determine every single mine correctly, which is good. I'm trying to figure out was there any way to know some of the other spots but yeah that's generally um how you play the game <laughs>